Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to part 8 on CMS blogging system. Today we will be going ahead and we will be working on the page from where we can actually create the posts. Because every post have some requirements. Uh, like we do need a, a title for a post. We need some content. And uh, the post lies under which particular category. And the very important thing is the meta tags. Because if we will have the same meta tags on... Uh, our entire website then our uh, website would be good for nothing so we need to have you know dynamic meta contents for every post so that uh, you know we can have good search engine visibility or whatever you people call it SEO and everything so what we would be doing first we would be downloading uh, editor from here we can actually write, write our cont content and uh, we can make our life easier so the one I have been using these days is Mark it up. I have already downloaded it. You can go and you can download it from here. You will get a folder, something like this latest, and you can you know place it inside your root folder. Next thing that you guys can do is you can actually check out that they have some examples on how to you know get it working or how to configure it. So this is not the one it might be inside the doc yep this is the one so they have shown the entire way how to set it up and uh, how to make it working but guys there was a problem if you will uh, you know follow the procedure they have shown here it will not work for you uh, I believe the procedures they have wrote here belongs to a uh, old version because if you will download the new one you will see a lot of changes but don't worry I'm there to help you out so what we would be doing is we would be creating a new page I would be naming it to create posts.php okay I will open it and I will grab this index.php file I want to copy it and I will paste it here Okay guys, here is the end of our subheader, so I can give myself a note, and subheader, okay? Then we need to open our header file in order to uh, include all the source files that are inside this latest folder so that we can use our text editor. So what I will be doing is, if you can see that they need a reference to mark it up uh, slash jquery.marketup.js so I'm gonna copy it I will paste it here okay that's perfectly fine now they have uh, a JSON file that we need to include okay I'm gonna paste it here and if I'll go back I'll open my latest folder inside the latest I have to say here latest and latest okay inside it we have a market up folder okay then they said jquery.marketup.js so this one is perfectly fine and then we need to go inside the sets and then the default and the set.js so these two files are referencing to the right files okay so we won't have any problems with that <clears throat> next thing we need is a link towards their style sheets so I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it here okay then again I have to append latest on the front okay. latest no that's not latest okay. now it's fine and then mark it up after mark it up I have scans inside the scans we won't have any folder called simple we have a mark it up okay and towards tile.css that one is perfectly fine as well then inside the mark it up we have sets inside the sets we have default and then I have a style.css so that one is perfectly fine too Okay, now we can just copy all the JavaScript code from here. 
okay. <coughs> mm, actually, not you. Take it away from you. Now we're gonna paste it inside our create post.php file. Okay. <coughs> then out here, I will be creating a text area. I'm gonna name it to mark it up. So text area. The ID would be mark it up. Okay. And we don't need any rows or any columns for it. Okay, go back and uh, let's see how it will look. So here I'm gonna say admin slash create post.php. Okay guys, this is how it will look and I believe it's perfectly fine. So for now I can actually take my texture via off so we would be working it with later. Now I need two devs. One needs to be the left section and the other one needs to be the right section. Okay. On the left section we would be having uh, everything related to creating a post and on the right hand side we would be having you know a short way to create the categories so again I'm gonna give myself a note that I'm um, ending lift section here and inside it uh, I would be saying an h2 to create posts okay then I would be saying div class form elements and uh, inside it I would be having an input type text name would be title value would be nothing I would be having a placeholder that's a new HTML5 feature so I'm gonna say add title here and an ID to title okay then I'm gonna copy it again I'm gonna paste it here and here I would be having my actual text here and I would be naming it to mark it up with no rows and no columns and it will have an ID to mark it up and I would be saying the name to content or if you want you can change the ID to content as well if it's making you confused that's perfectly fine then you also have to change it here uh, next thing I'm gonna copy it again and I'm gonna paste it for a couple of times or let's copy this one paste 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 and paste so what we would be having is the name would be equal to meta tags placeholder would be say meta title and ID would be um, meta title and change the name to meta title as well okay then I would be having a meta description okay. this would be meta description and here would be meta description Okay, <clears throat> then I would be having uh, uh, Meta Roberts. ID would be Meta Roberts as well. And uh, here would be uh, Meta Roberts. Okay, and uh, finally I would be having a Meta Tax. Copy it, paste it here. And here I would be saying meta tags. Okay, guys, this way we would be having a unique meta content for every single post. So there won't be any way we would be, uh, you know, duplicating our meta tags. And uh, I believe this is the correct way to, <clears throat> I would say, create posts with unique meta tags. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Go ahead, refresh the page, and let's see what we got.
Okay guys, here what it is. Now I have to do some styling up here. So I'm gonna save it. I'll go back to my style sheet. Uh, that was style.css out here on the bottom. First I'm gonna give myself a note that that would be styles for create post page. So anytime later I wanna change it, I can easily recognize what junk of code stands for what. <coughs> so very first div ID left section. Okay. And I have a div ID right section as well. Okay, one more thing we need is at the end of the right section.